Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh So we continue from previous video So I will give you step by step to prepare So this is we already discussed on the timeline So we are now in a step 2 to compute a table average daily balance So in order you to step you need to start from a 16 March 2019 And follow the flow okay follow the date all right so you cannot skip the date all right because it's very important step all right from 16 march 2019 the outstanding balance is 850 how to record this one okay so march 17 march 16 why i record march 16 because only one day period okay Be okay why because you can see that the next transaction is March 17. So you need to record a before. Before means 16. Okay. So the period is 16 to 16. Alright. 16 to 16. So no other high transaction. There's only opening balance. Alright. You multiply. You will get 850. Okay. So we move to second one. Okay. When you move to second one, you can see that seven, March 70 is about Malindo Air return ticket. So the next one is a 20, March 20, they have a transaction. So you need to record a 19 before the date, alright? So March 17 to 19 for this transaction, about Malindo Air return ticket. So 17 to 19, so you calculate by your hand. Your hand 17 18 19 so it's a three days all right and also you bring the balance towards here and then you plus with the transaction plus meaning that you are spending okay plus mean that you are spending all right and then you got the balance you multiply the aggregate balance okay so this one is no problem right so we go for the next transaction so the next transaction is march 20 uh and then the next transaction is 20 21st so 21st meaning that you need to record 20 to 20 all right 20 to 20 okay 20 to 20 meaning that one day okay so balance here plus the transaction you will get 550 so you total up you get 9820 you multiply it you get 9820 all right we go for the next transaction uh next transaction is a 20 one okay 21st 21st march so 21st march is a uh, uh groceries at jaya shalam is 140 so the next transaction is a 23rd so 23rd meaning that you need to record 21 to 22 okay 21 to 22 so you get 21 1 22 2 so it's a 2 days 9 9820 plus y plus because it's spending so you will get balance and multiply column 2 and column 3 for column 4 get 19920 okay so you will see right okay march 16 because they have a transaction on 17 so and then you have transaction on 20 so you record on 90 19 so let's say same like you have a transaction on 21 so you record 20 to 20 okay so this one the next transaction is 23rd so that's why you record at 22 okay so we go for next one is a, a 23rd so repair charge repair charge toyota highlux 19 19 uh, 90, 990 so what you should record is the next transaction is you need to be careful okay the next transaction is a refund 31st march 2019 so you need to record uh, 31st is 30th all right so 
you record 30th, you will get, okay, 23rd until 30th, alright? So, you need to calculate. So, you will get 8 days, you plus with the knee because it's a, a spending. So, you will get 9, 5, 10, 9, 5, 0, okay? And then... You multiply with eight seven six hundred eight seven six hundred uh uh eight seven six hundred okay this is column two and column three okay on thirty first okay we have refund here so I need you want to see the highlighted one how to record refund okay meaning that uh uh, you uh, you get money inflow, meaning that you are you get money in your credit card or you pay your credit card. So it's thirty first. The next is a uh, April one, April first, first April. So you have a one day transaction, and then you will record. Okay, you bring this balance, but you minus. Why you minus? Because it a uh, refund cash. Inflow. This one is a cash outflow, but you are record positive. So this one is you record negative or minus. So when you minus this one, you will get ten seven seven zero. You multiply, so you will get ten seven seven zero. Okay, then we go for the next transaction. Okay, in April first, they have lunch is a spending. And this is a Visa credit card payment, meaning that outflow and inflow in one day. So, you need to record in the same way, in the same transaction, the same date. You cannot record separately. You need to record first date. And then the next date is April 5. So, you need to record 1st April to 4th April. Okay, you need to record in 3rd April. Okay, it's not 4th April, sorry. Okay. Because I forgot about this one, alright? So, see, it's very important you to write here. Uh, somewhere else here that is have you a transaction here, okay? So, it's a April, 3rd April. Okay, so, it's same procedure. You will get the balance. So, you plus, you get minus uh. 2500 ringgit that is the payment inflow this is outflow you plus so you get 8390 you multiply column 2 and column 3 okay all right on the fourth we have camera installment camera installment okay so 300 3600 so you will be divide you will get all right so the amount is a uh, 300 ringgit per month so you will get 98690 so 8690 right on fourth you got uh, the transaction okay on fourth you have transaction on fifth lazada as usual you need to record uh, april 10 because the april 11 they have a transaction so you just record as i mentioned before okay Alright, size 8690 to is the 6th day. So, you get the balance. So, you multiply the column 2 and column 3. Okay, for the next transaction, you can see it's 11. So, it's nearly 2 hour closing date. So, the, no more transactions. So, you need to calculate this one. Okay, until 15. Alright, so the last one, you will record. You will record this one, okay? Alright. They have transaction, two transaction on 11. Okay. So, you total up the numbers of days. You will get 31st, 31 days. Okay. How can you get 31 days? Because it's March. Alright. So, it should be March. March and 1. And then, you total up the aggregate balance. All this, you total up. You sum up the total aggregate balance. Alright, so this is how to compute uh, a table average daily balance. So, we will continue for the next video. Alright, so 
I hope you understand. I go through uh slow uh one by one. So in the next video we are we are recap it back. Okay. Alright. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.